There is a simple diagram we can use to illustrate one of the key energy saving features of VSD machines. It compares four values over time, load, flow, pressure, and power. Load is measured in kilograms per hour. It's the quantity of air coming through the process. Flow is the flow rate of gas passing through the inlet of the vacuum pump, measured in meters cubed per hour. Pressure is the vacuum level of the process, measured in millibar absolute, and power is the electrical energy absorbed by the vacuum equipment, measured in kilowatts. We're going to model a dynamic vacuum demand over the course of a day. So at 8 a.m. the vacuum machinery is turned on, teams in production hold their daily meetings and prepare work. By 10 o'clock production is in full swing and the vacuum load is at its daily maximum. From 12 till 2, lunch breaks mean the plant runs at 50% capacity and from 2 until 6, the process is relatively stable and load fluctuates around 75%. By 6 p.m., most of the workers clock off, but one remains to catch up on a backlog and at 8 p.m., the final machine is switched off and the vacuum system shuts down. The next chart we consider is the flow curve. And to begin with, we're assuming the vacuum pump is a single fixed speed vane pump. Being fixed speed, its flow rate is steady all day at 100%. Now the result of using a fixed capacity pump on a varying load is fluctuations in the vacuum level. So at times when the load is highest, the pressure will be closest to atmospheric. And when the load is reduced, the pump will pull down towards its ultimate pressure. Given a fixed speed pump, absolute pressure experienced in the vacuum line is directly related to the load coming through the pump. We can use the pressure curve to plot the power usage through the day. When the load is maximum, the pump works hardest and absorbs its rated power. We know that an idling fixed speed pump, that is a pump pulling vacuum on zero load and running down at its ultimate pressure, consumes roughly 70% of its nominal power. So we can plot the start and the finish of the day at 70% full power, then filling in the remaining curve as a shallow mirror of the load coming through the vacuum pump. Now, let's look at a similar diagram for a variable speed unit. We want the load to be identical. This time, instead of plotting a fixed flow rate, we're gonna set the vacuum level at the maximum authorized pressure. So we take the pressure closest to atmosphere and fix the pump to pull that vacuum level all day long. Now we can fill in the flow rate. When we have maximum load, the pump speeds up to provide full capacity. When the load is reduced, the motor slows down accordingly. Finally, we can again plot the power curve. With a variable speed pump, the power usage is directly related to the speed and throughput of the vacuum pump. When the pump handles maximum load, the power absorbed is the same as the fixed speed unit. When the load reduces by half, the pressure set point is maintained by the pump slowing down, and as a result, the power will also halve. At the extreme examples, when there is no load, the pump will stop and it will consume zero power. The secret of variable performance machines lies in the difference between these two power curves. Where a fixed speed pump sees pressure fluctuations and oscillates between 70 and 100% of maximum power, the variable speed machine manages flow fluctuations and oscillates between zero and 100% of maximum power.